He grabbed headlines since the day he arrived here at the University of Texas, so it was no surprise that Vince Young once again grabbed the headlines, announcing his retirement from the NFL over the weekend. We now welcome in the legendary VY, Vince Young. You so I want to hear from you. I'm doing great, but this is all about you at this point, and I want to hear from you. What is the status at this point of your NFL career? Well, you know, first of all, thank God for the opportunity to play the game yeah. that a lot of us athletes love the game. A lot of fans love the game of football. And um, I had the opportunity to do some really good things uh, from all the way up from middle school, a little lead up to the NFL. And that was a living the dream, one of our sayings around here in Texas. And, um, you know, just to kind of back and forth, I'm kind of really tired of going to, you know, put 110 effort in and then get released for some kind of political, some kind of reason. And, you know, most people don't understand when you're an athlete that you want to be at the top of your game, the best athlete, it's a lot of time behind the scenes that goes on from waking up at 9.30, making sure you're eating right, mm -hmm. going to go train after you work out and run, then you have to throw, and that's the main thing. Then I have to watch film, and that's a lot of stuff I do behind the scenes. So a lot of that, that time goes into that. And, and when you go to play for, try to you know make a team and uh, to make a team, you don't really get the opportunity that you want. It, it gets kind of tiring and boring, especially when you know you're the, best, the better athlete, and you can also mentor a lot of people. So uh, right now, you know, I tell a lot of my friends and family that I want to do the same effort that I did in football to be the best. I want to put that effort off the field now, in business, um, you know, helping out the university any way I can. You know, just being very active to things that I like to do now. I like to be, I'm a people person, I'm goofy, I love to be around people, I like motivating people, and you know, pushing that next person to be the best person they can be. So I love doing those type of things, and I have opportunity to do that. I'm gonna take full, full dead aim at it. <laughs> so is this officially the end of your NFL career? Well, you know, I mean, I'll tell my agent, if we have a guaranteed contract yeah. that that's the big part. That's the guaranteed. big part. If if I can come in and uh, help out an organ uh, organization and, and it's guaranteed, none of them come in and Vince, let's try you out. And, you know, I did that and I also did a good job at it. But, you know, what people don't know what I'm going to say today is, like in Cleveland, when they let me go, when I came, I talked to the GM, the coaches, and everybody. And when they let me go, they didn't even talk to me. And my offensive coordinator and my quarterback coach, they didn't even know I was cut. Wow. They was calling like, where, where are you at, Vince? They thought I was skipping out on practice. I was like, what, you don't know that they cut me? It was like, what? They didn't even know. So those type of things, I just don't understand. And I mean, I'm just really tired of the, the games and the whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but you just have to move on, you know, and, uh, and, and, and I still love the game, like I said, but you know, I'm gonna take dead aim at some more up opportunities because you can't keep going back and forth, you know, starting one off the field some things and yeah. then you get a call and then you go work your butt off and do what you're supposed to do then you get cut you can't keep doing that back and forth so i want to be somewhere full time that i know that i can put up full 100 percent into it how do you think the perception of who you are as a person and a player by some of those people around the nfl compares to who you actually are i think it's it's, it's totally not who i am you know a lot of the longhorn fans and longhorn nation know what type of person i am definitely and, you know, the biggest thing I can say that I made a great, uh, biggest mistake with getting into it with Coach Fisher uh, a while back, and it kind of hurted me a lot because every time I step into an a organization, the perception is already that he doesn't work hard, he's a bad guy, and this and that and that. And, and when you get those type of perception, now you have to go in and change that whole perception. And then when they see it, oh, he's a very professional guy. He's down to earth. Uh, the team gasses around them, and they see that, but it's always something else I don't know because I don't get a chance to talk to the people because they just let me go without even speaking to me um, to know what is that it, what is it that, you know, they don't, well, the reason why we don't continue to move forward to let me be a possibility, a help for the team. So, um, but, you know, I, I, you know, I learned from my mistakes. Um, I tell the next young man, young lady now, Try your hardest to kind of hold that in and, and, and don't get into it with your, 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 your coach. So I, I definitely um, regret that one. But overall, um, the things that are being said about me as an athlete and a person, it's not really who I am. Well, I think you bring up a great point that you have learned from your mistakes, self-admitted mistakes. And yeah. you look at the coverage and so much is made of what went wrong. 
at different places, but not enough is made of what you have done to try to correct those problems. Take us a little deeper into the steps that you've made personally and professionally to try to correct some of these issues. Well, just the main thing is, is just try to, you know, ask questions. And, you know, I never had, you know, one of those, um, you know, persons that can exactly tell you certain things. Like, if, for instance, if you have Archie Manning, you have this guy, he has the whole layout for him how to be the best. And not and, and I had some of those, but my mentor passed away. So as I got, to, got, got on my own, I had to make some different decisions. So sometimes I got around my coaches, I started asking more questions and, and, and finally figuring out what was the, the, the thing that I was doing wrong that I can fix. And I'm one of those guys that if I had, if, it, if it's me, if I'm the problem, if anything is going on, I don't have no problem of fixing it and communicating with the coach or the gym or whoever it is to figure out so we can function and be what you want me to be, a great athlete, great quarterback for your organization, and I don't mind doing that at all. In hindsight, how do you think the passing of Steve McNair affected you? It affected me a lot. You know, that was a father figure for me. So, you know, I didn't have a father figure in my household. You know, I pretty pretty much depended on, you know, coaches, uh, Coach Brown, you know, different people like that that was motivational for me to understand how to do certain things. So, and, you know, you know, most people, you know, think that I'm not focused, but it's not really that I'm not focused. Our generation, as we like to have fun, be goofy, and go out and play a good game. And you can see that around the league now and how the game has changed. And now you see Dre Beach taking off, people jamming music. You know, that's what we was doing a long time ago. So um, that's what it's all about is this whatever gets you in that mode to go out there and have fun playing the game that you love, do it. And, and, and what people f still forget that from Monday through Saturday, you are pre preparing yourself. Grinding. Grinding for Sunday to go out there and play, there, play your hardest. And you should be able to have some fun. You should be able to have If you're putting fun. in the work as well. It's, well, it's all entertainment, so. <laughs> well, you mentioned Coach Brown. What kind of influence has he had around this time of your life? Oh, a lot. I mean, just, just, just questions about the next phase of my life of the business world, um, things that I need to do to, to, to take off in that, that, that arena as well. Um, and, and, and I was talking to um, you know, our guy, Sean, that brought me over. We was talking about in different businesses, different professions, everybody goes through something mm -hmm. in their life. So, and the biggest thing is that I have been through it in my career in football. Now, and when these things probably start to happen in, um, in the next phase of my life, I know how to handle these things and control different things and just do my job and just, you know, be quiet. <laughs> what do you feel like you accomplished in your football career? Oh, wow. I, well, I definitely could say that the whole NFL now is a uh, run past threat now. Very true. <laughs> Very true. So I definitely accomplished that because when I first came into the league, it was like you're not going to be able to run like you did in college or... You know, my, my whole thing is what I always said, you know, they can go back to any kind of interview is whatever it takes to win a ball game. That's what the, the, the organization, that's what the coach brought me in there to do and be a leader for my, for my teammates. So I'm very happy about all our young generation quarterbacks that's out there in the field that's doing that. If it's not there, don't force it and throw an interception. Use your God-given talent to use your legs and get four or five yards and get down and protect your body. So I'm happy to see that right now. <laughs> what do you think you learned? from your NFL career? Oh, I just, I mean, everything from, I mean, football and professionalism, just different things. I mean, it's its not just one thing. I, I really learned a lot about the NFL um, and its business. I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's a different world and you gotta be prepared for it. And, you know, and you gotta be ready for it. So long as you're taking a stepping stones or you get yourself a mentor, get around someone that you can ask questions and help you get through it and help you be successful athlete in the league, professional. Um, do it. And finally, you mentioned that people are asking you what is next. So, what is next for Vince Young? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's you know some things on the table. What I already been doing from you know my restaurant, the Vince Young Steakhouse, is doing really good. I uh, plan on opening up some more, um, focusing in on that. Um, the Vince Young found Foundation, uh, the things that we already been doing, preaching education to kids that you know you definitely need it to be a successful uh, you know young man in your future in your life. And, um, you know, right now we're going through some details uh, with some things with the university. So just taking it one day at a time, you know, taking the meetings, 
put on a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not this one. It may be a little tight on you. <laughs> put on a suit and, and, and go in there, take notes, and, and pay attention to all the details. And that's the biggest thing, paying attention to the details. Well, Vince, thank you so much for coming on, opening up. Congratulations no on everything you did accomplish, and best of luck for everything in the future. It sums it up with Vince Young. I was telling you the story before we came on air about my son. He's six <laughs> years old. He's got the box of toys at home, and he has one toys for the superheroes. You'll find Superman, you'll find Spider-Man, Batman, Captain America, and also a Vince Young action <laughs> figure in there. That sums it up right here. Vince Young doing big things now that his NFL career is done.